haven't talked about it yet, but I am finally breaking my silence. In all seriousness, I have been sitting back watching, listening, consuming all there is to know about the new Squarespace Fluid Engine, the brand new way to design websites in Squarespace. And I'm finally ready to share my five best tips with you today. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. Today we're talking all about Squarespace Fluid Engine. Love it or hate it so far? Let me know in the comments. So this is the first time I'm talking about Fluid on this channel because I wanted to sit back and react first before jumping to conclusions or strategy. But after I have been using this on my own website and my clients' websites, I am ready to share some insight. Fluid Engine is Squarespace's latest content editing experience. That's how they're describing it. It's available now on 7.1 and there are totally new options for block placement, resizing, and overlapping, which is exciting, but some are also expressing concern that it might be too flexible for people that aren't designers. It's definitely easier to mess up a design now versus before, but fret not, I still think this is more positive than negative. Here are five actionable tips for the new Squarespace Fluid Engine. Get ready. Tip number one, try the new Fluid Engine in a low stakes environment. Don't go and mess up your own website. In Squarespace, it's really easy to try new things on the back end of your existing website under not linked, or Squarespace makes it really easy to start a new website trial that you don't have to pay for right off the bat if you wanna play it really safe and experiment completely off your own website account. I will show you. So every time you go to add a new page to your website, it is going to default to the new Fluid Editor. So if I go ahead here and add a blank page, I won't give it a special name or anything. When I go into edit mode, you will see right away here, if I go to add a new section, you're gonna see all new types of content sections and all of these are in Fluid and they're gonna be fun to, to play with the first time that you go to try this because there are some really nice layouts. Remember to keep your new page under not linked as you can see here so that it doesn't accidentally appear in your navigation. And if uh, when you're done playing around with it, you wanna make sure that it doesn't come up in search engines. For example, you could just disable this page or simply add a password. So that's if you want to keep that page uh, on the back end of your website uh, and keep it private. The other option you have is to completely start a new website um, trial. So you would go ahead here on the Squarespace website and click get started and that's gonna help you get set up with a brand new trial that you don't have to worry about. You get a lot of months on there without having to pay for it. So that's, uh, that's another good option. So let's keep going. Tip number two, avoid the upgrade button. Avoid the dreaded misleading upgrade button that will now appear in the top right corner on a page or block using the classic editor. Do not click this. It is not an upgrade. Once clicked, you cannot undo the change. So the wise thing to do would be to duplicate the block that you wanna try upgrading first, but even then, I'm not sure it's a good idea, and I will show you this right now. So here I am back on a client website that I'm working on, and you can see here this block was made before Fluid went into place on this website. And so you'll see this option to upgrade it, but I do believe this is somewhat deceiving because it really isn't upgrading it. It converts it from pre-Fluid to the new Fluid platform, and I have not seen this function well. I just haven't. What it duplicates does not look like how it looked before, and if you just go ahead and click this without, um, keeping a backup, then you have no way of reverting that change. So I recommend hitting this, the duplicate button, just so that we keep a backup down here. And then, then and only then should you go ahead and click this upgrade button. Let's see, for example. So that one came out fairly good, fairly good, uh, which is good. I think they're improving this feature um, gradually. I think, you know, it's came out and there were a little, a few bugs we could say in this. Um, certainly this will get better, but I would still say you want to make sure you duplicate that before you hit this enhance button. Okay, let's keep moving along. Tip number three, always check and adjust the mobile design version. This is completely new in Squarespace. The fact that you can customize a website on mobile independent of the desktop site, but be careful. When using Fluid Engine, the page sections will appear on mobile in the order that you create them, which is a bit strange and we're not used to this and it might require reordering. And I'll explain right now with some visuals. 
So this feature I'm actually really happy with in Fluid, the ability to actually create a separate design independent of what you create on desktop. So in Squarespace, let's say you're set to desktop mode, you would go ahead and select this mobile view up here and it's gonna show you how your website looks in mobile view. But now, rather than just having to, you know, hope that it looks good on mobile, now you can actually make design changes on mobile uh, and it's gonna look really, really good. So, and it's not gonna mess up your uh, desktop version. So you can see there, I just slightly, you know, relocated a few things here. I can customize the design until I'm happy with it and I can go ahead and click save and I can be happy knowing that that's not gonna mess up my design on desktop. Now, the one thing you're gonna wanna be careful with is, um, one thing that's a little bit strange if you're not used to it is that as you add new blocks of content on the desktop version, it will order the blocks that you create in the order that they're created. So let me explain. Let's say I built you know, these portions of the website here. I'll need some adjustments there on the mobile version, as you can see. But let's say I created these blocks and I went back and added this one up here. Then this one would be at the bottom because it was created more recently. So it's just gonna take a little bit of um, reordering, which is really easy to do in Squarespace. So if I go back to mobile view, I've got this option, the arrows allow you to move an entire block uh, up and down and you can get it looking just so. Okay, tip number four, take advantage of new split layout capabilities. This one excites me. For years, I've had to integrate custom code to be able to do a split layout like this or like this. And now you won't even need custom code to achieve this if you're using Fluid Engine. I'll show you how. It's pretty exciting that now this block that would have required custom code to create before is now possible here in Fluid. So you would click that add block button up on the left. I'm not gonna do it, but you would click that and it would give you some options including a photo, which you could pop and drag to half, halfway, so you can see it here about halfway to the screen. And then you would just add some text and a button and you can style that accordingly. Again, before this was not possible to do what we would call traditionally a split layout. And now it's totally possible without custom code. Tip number five, limit your creativity. And I mean this in the best way possible. This feels like a step in the right direction, giving users more flexibility over the finished design on desktop and on mobile. They're certainly making an effort to keep up with their competitors. I've always said that Squarespace is the best platform for designers, people who are experienced and familiar with design principles, as well as the interface, the Squarespace interface, and its ability to customize it to make it look completely unique versus looking like a template. I think that Fluid Engine is the perfect solution for us, for designers. For the everyday user looking to create their own website, I think the truth is it's harder because now more things can go wrong. Now overlapping elements like text and image, different layouts on web and mobile. There's just a lot to consider design-wise in addition to form and functionality. When in doubt, hire an expert, get some help. I won't be cutting my own hair anytime soon because I am not a barber. I leave that to a professional and I strongly suggest you do the same when it comes to your website, if that's a possibility. I would love to hear from you now. If you took the time to watch this video, let me know in the comments below your initial impressions of Fluid Engine on Squarespace. Do you like it so far? Any highlights? If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing a few other Squarespace-related videos that might be interesting for you. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching, and those videos are coming up next.